Diabetes is a metabolic condition characterized by high blood sugar levels. It can be of several types depending upon various factors. Diabetes mellitus is a type of diabetes in which an imbalance of pancreatic hormones occur. Diabetes is further divided into diabetes type 1 and diabetes type 2. Diabetes insipidus is a kind of diabetes that happens due to the imbalance of the pituitary hormone. A temporary type of diabetes is termed as gestational diabetes, but it can be prolonged if not taken care of. Generally, diabetes is a long-term disorder in which your blood glucose level is raised from the normal range leading towards complications. There are two hormones in the pancreas known as glucagon and insulin. These hormones are produced from alpha and beta cells of the pancreas. Glucagon increases the blood sugar level while you are eating or fasting. It converts the carbohydrates from your food into glucose, and it also breaks down the glycogen into glucose. Thus, in both conditions, blood sugar level is raised. On the other hand, insulin is responsible for lowering your blood sugar level. When there is enough glucose in the bloodstream, beta cells release insulin, and this converts the glucose into its stored form glycogen. The stored glycogen goes into the liver, muscles, and adipose cells. Diabetes mellitus is a chronic disease, and it has two types. One is type 1 diabetes, also known as insulin-dependent diabetes mellitus, IDDM for short. It is also called juvenile diabetes and accounts for 5 to 10 percent of total cases. It results from the autoimmune destruction of beta cells that are responsible for producing insulin. In this condition, insulin is not produced by the body and you must take it artificially. Its symptoms are increased infections, rapid onset weight loss, and fatigue. The peak incidence of type 1 diabetes is from 10 to 15 years of age. The second type is diabetes type 2, also known as non-insulin dependent diabetes mellitus, NIDDM for short. It is also called adult onset diabetes and accounts for 90 to 95 percent of all diabetes. It results from genetic and lifestyle complications. Insulin in type 2 diabetes is produced from beta cells, but it's either insufficient or ineffectively used. Muscles are unable to deposit stored glucose, and your body becomes resistant to the insulin produced. Thus, the blood glucose level is raised. Common symptoms are blurry vision, dry, itchy skin, slow healing wounds, fatigue, increased thirst, and loss of feeling in your feet. Usually, urine contains glucose in diabetes mellitus. The incidence of diabetes mellitus is 770 out of 100,000. Diabetes insipidus is a rare condition in which a person has high blood glucose due to pituitary hormone imbalance. This hormone is known as vasopressin or antidiuretic hormone. The amount of water retained by your kidneys is determined by this hormone. A person suffering from this experiences excessive thirst and frequent diluted urine. The symptoms are frequent headaches, extreme hunger, excessive thirst, and urination. The incidence of diabetes insipidus is 3 out of 100,000. Usually, no glucose is seen in urine tests. Gestational diabetes is a type of diabetes in which a woman exhibits high blood glucose levels. This is temporary. 7% of pregnant women experience gestational diabetes as eating patterns and behaviors are changed a lot during this period. Common symptoms of gestational diabetes are vomiting, fatigue, blurred vision, lack of will, and weight loss, regardless of increased appetite. If you have diabetes, you should know in which category you fall. Proper medication, lifestyle, and diet modification are required to limit blood glucose levels to within a healthy range. Well, thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please share with your friends and family and stick around for more. Also, if you'd like us to cover a specific topic, leave that in the comment section below.